All right, I put up my background so there's less confusion so you can see more of what I'm doing here. I'm not going to show everything I do because I do cover this on my instructional videos. I'm sorry, I sound like a broken record, don't I? Time to play with some clay. I've uh, made this set of uh, anatomy drawings to the scale of the horse that I'm working on. And uh, so I can get the uh, skull the way I want it. So it'll help me be a little more accurate in my creating the head of a horse. The skull has a lot to do with the uh, personality of the horse because it's so close to the muscles. I mean the surface of the uh, base of the horse. Alright, I'll be back. I'll get this uh, I progressed along a little bit and then I'll come back and show you a little bit. All right, be right back. This process of uh, sketching in the, the skull, basically. It always helps to create the skull first. Like I said before, it, it's so close to the uh, surface of the face that if you don't have a good skull, everything else falls apart. All right, I'm making an eyeball out of Super Sculpty that's a little bit big. Because when it cools, it gets harder than the uh, regular clay, which makes a For an excellent eyeball that may be too big. I keep subtracting from it. I 
just got to repeat that for the other side. The key is to try to make both sides the same. It ain't easy, baby. It ain't easy. <laughs> ah, but it's kind of fun trying. too big. All right, let's see if the head looks too big. Oh no, it's perfect. One head length between the shoulder and the point of the shoulder. About one head length between the back and the bottom of the belly. I've got to adjust that a little bit. So this is working out really nice. One head length between the shoulder and the back hip. That's about perfect. All right, I'm gonna put this back in my jig, which is nothing more than a uh, drill bit chuck that I purchased online. And I drilled a hole into this wooden dowel and drove it into the hole and then put a screw next to it to tighten it up and make sure it doesn't move when I try to tighten and loosen the uh, head. I've also got the whole unit on a Lazy Susan, a small one, which has a two pieces of wood. Um, I probably could have gotten by with one piece thicker. But anyway, two pieces screwed to the one part of the uh, Lazy Susan so that I can mount my jig on that and I can turn the whole unit and work on it. <sighs> All right, let's get back to work on the head of the horse. Yeah, I figured I better check that out before I get any further on this. Because if it ain't working, I'd be wasting my time. All right, time to do the cheekbone.
All right, that's going to be it for today. Sorry I couldn't show you everything. But uh, I'm happy the way this turned out. I always get nervous when I start the head of a horse because it is a very difficult subject to sculpt and do it right. And I don't know whether I've done it right yet when I put the muscles on and get, get everything finely tuned, that'll be the proof in the pudding, so to speak. There's a little valley right here, right down the center. Okay. All right, everybody. See you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.